Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Uh, happy Sunday, guys. I don't usually put videos up on Sundays, but I have these little um, Tamu haul, and I also have a few things from um, Walmart that I picked up that I wanted to share with you guys, and I just didn't know when else to fit, th fit that in during the week, because I have a bunch of craft projects coming up next week, or this week, it's Sunday already, um, that I want to get done, so I figured I'll just throw this in. It's not a very big haul. Uh, Walmart's really tiny. It's like three different items here. So let me just show you those. I did get um, some of the ink color, the Waverly chalk paint. I was out of black. I can't believe I was out of black paint, but I have some over there. I thought that was black, but the one over there, it's like an elephant gray. So I did pick up this one. It's just called ink. Uh, Walmart doesn't have any of the um, folk art chalk paint that I usually use, but this stuff works pretty much exactly the same. So either way you go, um, you can't go wrong. This is an 8 ounce. This is one of the larger bottles. I usually get the little 2 ounce bottles, but they didn't have those there either. I don't even know if Waverly has the smaller bottles. But anyway, this was $6.98 at Walmart so that'll last me a good long time now the other two things I picked up here are these greens I love their faux um, little boxwood picks here I use these for so many different craft projects I picked up what did I get two four six of them did I two four yes six of these bunches and these are only a dollar twenty eight and look how nice these are they are so so nice I love these, and I believe I paid more for these before. I think they were $1.98. I was kind of surprised when I checked my receipt and they were only $1.28. So you can't go wrong with that. They're just really nice. And they look so pretty like in a you know, in a white vase or something with just some other little things stuck here and there. But I wanted to get stocked back up on those. I was really happy to find them. Last time I was there, they didn't have any more. So I got a whole bunch of them now makes me happy <laughs> and then the other thing I got was their eucalyptus whoops I got this stuck on oh no hang on oh there we go had it stuck um, this stuff is so nice sometimes Dollar Tree has some eucalyptus but it is not compare you can't even compare Dollar Trees to this stuff this stuff look is so realistic looking you could stick this stuff outside even in a planner or something and I don't think anybody would know unless they got up real close and touched them but these were a little bit more these were two dollars and 32 cents a piece so I got three of these but they are just so nice so I was really really happy to find those now that is it that's all I got I mean I picked up some other things at Walmart that I don't think anybody's interested in like you know some dog goodies and things like that <laughs> But I want to share this. I was real excited to get this haul in. This time I got some things. I got some craft items, but then I also got some things that are not craft items that I wanted to share. I got a couple more um, candle molds. Actually, I bought two of these. I have one open here. Two of these by accident. I pushed because you have an option of buying one or two, and I must have pushed two because apparently I got two. But these are going to be like pine cones. And I thought that would be really cool. You can't really see the detail all on the outside. Um, I did try out a couple of their candle molds. I just wanted to show you these real quick that I showed you in my last haul. This was the strawberry candle mold. So I made one of those. And they're really cute because you can see like all the, it's got a little wick in there. Just, you know, put that in a little, um, a little bowl or something, you know, a little candle holder and burn those. I thought that was real cute. But can you see the little... It looks like little seeds from the strawberry and stuff. So I want to make some more of these um, in different colors. So I made that one, and then I also... Whoops! This one's stuck to the thing. I also made this one. This is what's the heart one, and it looks like roses inside. And um, this is how that one came out. That is so pretty. I love that. I'm going to make a bunch more of these. I want to find get some wax and lit... Uh, make them in like a light pink color too, but these are just so pretty So these are gonna be like little gifts. I want to get together here And you know if you want to make a lot of these you would probably want to get more than one mold at a time Because it takes a little while and all I used to make these was I Took one of these Dollar Tree candles there's still enough wax in there to make another, probably another one of those heart-shaped ones. I just stuck this in a pot of boiling water for a while until it all melted, and I just poured it right in those little molds with a wick. So that was just that simple. 
But anyway, I wanted to get a couple more of the candle molds, so I did get these. These were $1.98. I mean, you can't beat the prices. And again, this order took about eight days for me to get, so it came really fast. And so far, I'm liking everything I'm seeing here. But I got two of these, which is great because, um, you know, I can make them a little bit faster if I have two molds. This mold here, too, was $1.98. And this is a pumpkin. I can make a pumpkin candle. And they're really cool. And they're the little silicone molds. So they just pop, everything just popped out so easy after, you know, I let it harden for quite a while, make sure it was, you know, that the wax was hard again. And they just popped right out of those silicone molds so easy. But maybe we'll make one of them one of these days here. What else did I get craft-wise? Oh, I did pick up, um, this one is a happy birthday, one of the metal die cuts. Um, to use with my die cutting machine, you know, for cards and things. So I got that. That was a dollar twenty nine. I mean, come on, you can't beat these prices. And so I got that one, and then I also got this one. And this one is to make pretty little bows with. I'll have to show. Maybe I'll do that this week when I do my card making. Maybe I'll make some little bows with these um, and show you guys what they look like. But they're really fun to make. So I did get those. Those were those were dollar twenty nine. I mean, come on. They have these exact same things. I'm sure they probably, you know, all this stuff does come from China, but it's like repackaged and then you buy it at Michael's for like six times the price that you would get it if you just order it right from there because they do have pretty much the exact same dyes at like Michael's and Hobby Lobby's for a lot more money. They're just packaged nice and, you know, when you order them from there, you just get them in these little basic little envelopes here. Um, this thing here, I don't know what else is down in this bag. Let me pull this out. This is a, what do they call this here? It's a, oh, I don't have it on here. It's like a wallet purse, if you will. This was $11.19. So, I was very excited to try some of their other things. Let me get this out of this bag. They have everything wrapped up really, really nice. And this is so nice. I figured this little thing here will be great if you just want to run out somewhere. Now this one's all sold out. That's like with a lot of this stuff here, they're like lightning deals. You can get these things really cheap, um, but they sell out really fast. But if you go on the uh, Temu, um, it's just T-E-M-U dot com, and you can find all kinds of these cute little bags. And you can't go wrong for like $11 with this. And let's see here. It has these two zipper compartments, and the zipper is really nice. And here is our strap. So, you know, say you're going out like in the summertime, you're heading out to the fairs, or you're going to a concert, or going just out shopping real quick for something, and you just don't want to haul around a big purse. This is wonderful. It has all the little compartments in here, and I'm pretty sure this one had the RFID protection, so, you know, nobody can like scan your purse and get your information but you got a couple little slits in there for like cards and then there's another whoops there's another little pocket in here and they did have them in different colors too i don't know if they have any of these left but when i went to check the price because i wanted to write it down um they were already sold out but like i said they have tons of this stuff oh look at that everything packaged so nice then in here you have two more big spots. You could put a big size cell phone in here too, or glasses, whatever you need. And then you have this zipper compartment where you could stick your money in or whatever you want to in there. But I just really love that. And then it, you know, has this little snap on the front. And then here's the little little hooks here. Oops, I didn't close that one up. The little hooks on the side to hook your handle on. And it's a nice long adjustable handle where you could wear it like crossbody so you don't have to worry about it getting yanked off your arm or something. Um, here we go. And then that snap, snaps um, closed nice. And this is just called Forever Young is the name of this. And yeah, it's a faux leather. It's not real leather. Obviously not for that price. But how nice is that little bag? Let me just take your little handles here. Let's hook them on here. Oh, I like these little clips too. Yeah, they're just very well made. I mean, for $11, come on, you can't get this anywhere for that price. This is really long, too, so I'll have to adjust this thing. Even for a crossbody, it's really long. Um, but here we go. There we go. And now you have your little straps. You can throw it 
you know, over your head and around your neck and wear it cross body and there you go. But I love this. It's just really, really pretty. And even on here it has like little, like diamond looking accents, like little crystals, whatever they are. But they're really pretty. I love this. So, yeah, figured I want to try a few things from there that were not crafty items. And then I did get this shirt. I thought this was real cute. Let's see if I can get this out of here. This shirt was $8.09. Oh, this one has actually a zipper. But how cute is this? It has a little heart on it. And they had these in different colors too, but I just wanted to try one and see. It has a little heart with a little paw print. I thought this will be great for summer. And it's a really nice stretchy material. I like this a lot, and I like the length of the sleeve on this one too. Some of them are really, really short, and I don't care for those, but this one I really like, and I like this kind of mauve pink color. But yeah, that is one of their t-shirts. And you have to watch the sizes though, because all of them, this is like an, well, this is an extra large, but a lot of them are different. You gotta check the size on each shirt. Don't just assume because you were like an extra large in one, um, one of the shirts and the next one could be totally different. Their sizes are really weird sometimes. So you just got to watch the sizes, but they are true to size, you know, if you make sure you have your measurements in there. And then I picked up, oh, these are, um, these were $2.49 and they're mouse pads. I needed one for in here. Let me get this out of here quick. Did I say that was? Oh, $2.49. I thought this was real pretty. It says, I am thankful that my blessings are bigger than my problems. And then, you know, you have your rubbery back here and just, you know, it's just a nice mouse pad for your computer. So I got that one and then I picked up another one. I love the size of these two. The one I have out by my other computer is so small. This is really, let me see what size these are. These are really, really nice size. These are nine and a quarter by, um, about seven and three quarters. So yeah, you got lots of room to roll around your mouse. And then this one here, is that it? I think that's all that's in this bag. I said none of these was a big haul, but but this one I absolutely love. I just thought this one was hilarious. So that is why I got this one. I don't know if this one's the same size or not. Was this the same price? $249 this was. But look at these goofy cats. <laughs> I love that. Aren't they fun? So yeah, I don't know which one I want in here. Or actually, this one going this way will probably work better out by my other desk that I have out in my living room. Um, but look how darn cute they are. And it has the nice, you know, rubber backing so it won't slide on you while you're using your mouse. But those faces, I couldn't... <laughs> I just thought they were hilarious. Especially that guy right there peeking around. But... That is it. That was what I got from my two little hauls here today. I was very happy again with everything. I've already got another order that I put in. I'm like addicted to this this Tamu uh, website now that I've gotten a couple of orders from them. And I've had no problem. Everything's come. Everything's pretty much exactly what it says on the website. Um, so I'll bring little P in here to say hi real quick. Um, I don't know what he's doing out there. He's awful quiet, so he may be napping, but I'll bring him in here to say hi to everybody, and I'll be right back. All right, here's little P. He's probably going to be all beside himself here today. Um, I couldn't figure out why he took off. This, this boy, I tell you, he hardly ever, ever flies, but I was coming down the hallway here, and he took off. And, of course, he's ended up hanging on my blinds on my window. Huh, because you stink at flying. <laughs> But yeah, I didn't realize there was a box in the hallway that was different. Um, my grandson had ordered a mattress and it's still in the box. Out in the hall. Scared you half to death, didn't it? I forgot it was there. I'm so sorry. But you survived. Yeah, you're going to turn around or you're just going to keep your back to people? You're just going to give them a side eye today? Here, turn around and say hi real quick. Just say hi because we got to go here soon because we got stuff to do. Yes, we do. It's the weekend. Huh. We got cleaning to do. That's what we do a lot of on the weekend. <laughs> huh. Yeah. I got to get out in that bird room. We got to pull out them cages and we need to get behind there and clean, 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 clean. Because you guys make a mess. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I'm, oh, I do have a piece of yucca wood over here. Hang on, let me see if I can get it out of here. Oh, that was squeaky. Would you like a piece? Or are you still traumatized by the box? Yeah? Really? You can't do it. You're not even shaking, though. It didn't scare you that bad. <clears throat> uh -huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. What else happened? Really? Yeah. He has his own language. I don't know what he's saying. But he's telling me something. Nope, he doesn't talk. A lot of people ask me that every week. No, he doesn't talk. He can make kissy sounds. Huh. And he does laugh, but never in here when I want him to. Huh. Do, do, do a kiss? Can you do a kiss? Kiss? No. Nope. I see that camera over there, and I don't want anybody to know. Not even a little... <laughs> no. Nothing. Do you want your yucca wood now? Yeah, it takes him a minute when he comes in here. Yeah, I've just been saving this stuff for in here in the craft room because you guys see how fast he rips these things apart. I could go through a whole bag of those in, in a day. So we try to save them just for when we come in here. He does his crafting. Yeah. You go, P. All right, you sit there and do that. Get a little tiny bit of a video of him taking a bath in his bowl in his cage. I'll probably put that on Friday's Dollar Tree haul. I haven't gotten it up. It's on my phone. I haven't gotten it uploaded off of there yet or downloaded, whichever, um, to my computer. And I have to edit it out because I didn't realize while I was videoing him I had the radio on. So I'm going to have to do some music over top of it. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble for playing music from the radio, won't we? Yeah. That's okay. These guys like the radio on, huh? Keeps you guys busy during the day or whatever, especially when we go somewhere. I always make sure the radio's on. I have it right there in the bird room. Huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you like the radio? Do you like the music? We have to pause to fix our feathers. Yeah. We're not letting go of that wood though, huh? I'm not done yet. All right, well, we're going to let you finish this up. That was cheating. That was a big piece you just tossed. The only hard part is that only that one edge. You like the squishy stuff better anyway. No, you don't want this? No. You just want some scritches? Well, what are you yelling about? You're a goofball. All right, well, let's let everybody go. Everybody enjoy the rest of your Sunday afternoon and evening. And we will see you guys all next time. Say have a great day, everyone. Bye, Pay.